Dover, and we are here in the Xfinity Series Class B Fixed for some Dover. Um, not really an off-season type of track since they run here, I think, twice in the regular season, right? Maybe it's just once, but uh, yeah, that's probably speeding. Thought I'd jump in this 40 or 55 laps. And hopefully it won't be a caution fest. This did split, I think, once. And we are car number three. So hopefully we can just uh, have a fun race, get through it. And uh, do a little bit better than the last three official races we've done. Hopefully. Need something short-ish to record since I'm going to be busy again this weekend. My man, here comes your first time left. Try and put in a qualifying lap, though I'm sure I'm not going to be very quick. Dover can be really messy. If we keep getting like quick cautions that bunch up the field, and we have to do a bunch of restarts. One more lap. A little bit loose there. That wasn't didn't feel like a terrible lap. Actually, might be one of my best I've done. Point six. I don't know. Uh, okay. Probably not going to get any faster here. No. Well, we tried. Dover is all about not getting in the wreck and uh, keeping the tires on it. It is very tough. Yeah, I figured the point fours would be up there so tight around here and running too wide especially the exit of turn two is just crazy difficult but if we can get spread out from the pack and get some laps done we might be okay yeah we're still dropping here i don't know we probably won't be very fast but that's not too different from normal in this car 410 up front from the 10 car. Robert saying hi. He's in the 15. Good luck to him. Looks like he's going to be starting right behind us at the moment. And hopefully this just goes okay. Hopefully, we, I don't care if I finish poorly compared to my car number. I would just like to have a clean finish in a clean race. If there's 15 people faster than me. That would be frustrating, but I would take it that take it better than getting uh, wrecked. But I'm gonna try and run top ten at least if we can. Who knows what we what we we will be able to do? I can barely talk. Sitting here in eighth at the moment. That's gonna be on the outside, which is not where I'd like to be. But I don't know. Really, it's it's so hard to pass. I'm just worried about getting that wall on the exit of two. I need to be very careful with that. If we're stuck on the outside, I, I might be really conservative with it and not cut it too close, and that might end up costing us a bunch of spots. But that would be better than the alternative of smacking the wall and wrecking everyone around us. Yeah, tire wear is very big on this. And uh, I struggle saving tires in this car. But we're going to try our best with that. See if we can move up long run. It's just going to be so hard to pass anyway. But probably going to be the only option I have because I'm not going to be very quick short run. Qualified about mid-pack here with the people who put in a lap. And we'll see how it goes. I think Arca does 45 laps here. Or maybe 40. I don't know. I thought this race was going to be 45 laps, but it's 55. Which is fine. I just don't want a bunch of cautions. We'll see if we get any. I'm sure we'll have at least one. And 
we are going to be starting P9, so we actually end up on the inside. So that's good. Hopefully I have a good start. Got to watch out for the wobble. And Put in plenty of fuel to finish the race. Too wide through the corners. So Estimated tough. SOF is 2,836. We expect to be fighting for the podium. And it's going to be hard to make passes. And we're just going to have to be careful. People hitting the wall in front of us. There's just a lot of things that can go wrong here. And a lot of stuff outside of our control. But I'm going to do my best to control what I can and not put myself in the wall or anything like that. And good luck to everybody. Good luck to Robert in, in the 15. Starting 12th behind us now. So somebody qualified between us. We'll see how this goes. pit at all we'll probably take four tires tires are such a big thing here I hope we can get into a rhythm and we're not getting stacked up and too pressured from behind we got a bunch of people ahead of us it's gonna make it tough but it's gonna be difficult starting mid-pack here we'll see what we can do you have two additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. I like Dover though. It's a fun track. It's very hard, but that's part of what makes it fun, I think. I can sometimes have good runs here and sometimes I struggle. I think I have had good runs in this car here in the past. But I do not remember the last time I ran this car here. All right, man, line up on the inside row. Third Last year sometime. Row. Gotta be careful about wheel spin on the start. Looks like I could just full throttle it. Yeah, I don't think it'll be a big deal. Only one to green here, just a mile track, but we're getting going quick. Hopefully we can uh, get going and not have an immediate caution. But an immediate caution is pretty likely here as well. Get ready. The base car is in. I think start zones are enabled. See so he has to wait. Green flag, green flag. Okay. I think the four spun his tires up. Got one outside. Got the bottom or the top kind of stacked up, but he has room to get in in front of us, and now we've got the 14 on our outside as I'm getting tight. Just be patient with it. Don't slam the apron. 14 gets around us on the outside, that's fine. Settle in here. If we can. Seven's going up close to that wall. Time to die. Let's see if we can take care of some tires. I don't know if I'll be able to very well, especially in the pack here. But we got a nice gap behind us right now. We're sitting P9, so that's right where we started. Big run here, but I'm not going to throw it in quite yet. Ooh, nearly contact behind us. Careful of the 14 going wide on entry. We end up catching him on exit. We need to not push up into him. Clean start so far, it looks like. It's getting tight mid corner in one and two, though. Big checkup right there with the 14. I don't know what happened. 
maybe he ate. had to check up for the guys in front of him. I couldn't couldn't tell. Maybe he just got loose. Somebody into the wall. Might just be the straightaway wobble. 14 going on the outside of the 10. This guy's going to pass us. Nothing I can do. Just make sure we don't wobble and uh, make contact with the wall. Okay, we're clear for the moment. Get the 19. Let me try and get back to the bottom. See if we can follow the 9 car through the field a little bit. We lost the spot there. Now oh, they're wrecking behind us. Somehow no yellow. I thought somebody was backwards. Maybe they alt F forward. Hopefully the 9 can get a run on the 10. The 10 is kind of checking up mid-corner. It's going to get the 13 back to us. He's going to go high. I'd rather not run that top side. It is going to just eat the tires up. 10 going defensive on that move. Still green, this is fun. Thought we'd have a yellow already. And we nearly did. I'm not pushing it too hard right now. We're gonna be losing another spot here in a second by the look of it. Maybe we'll get some back if our tires are better at the end. All clear, all clear. Just let him go. So we don't get run over. Maybe get him back later. Lose some contact up ahead. Big check up here. No wreck. And that's going to get Robert to our bumper. We keep having to check up for this pack. Just going to keep rolling the bottom. Take it nice and easy. Not looking to push it too bad. This pack is still all stacked up in front of us. Watch the wall. We keep having to check up, but we're not losing any time to the guys ahead of us. People behind us are catching. But as long as we can still keep these guys in range. Ooh, blinking. Okay. 13 might be falling off a little bit when he was running the top side. Valvoline cars kind of pulled away from him. Outside. Stay low. Somebody's in the wall. They keep it off. They get it pulled off. Let's see if we make this pass back. I think he backed off for us since we let him go earlier, maybe. Alright. Should be able to pull away. People keep tapping that wall and that's sending huge puffs of smoke, but I don't think they're hitting it quite that hard. I need to get a run on the 
this 14 car. He's getting tight. I'm also getting tight. Okay, we clear him. Tires are playing into our advantage right now, I think. Gained a couple spots back. Let's put it out. Yeah, we get a yellow. Oh, all that. We were going to be able to move forward there with our tires, but that advantage got taken away. Now we're going to have to do a restart on even tires and probably fall back again at the beginning, but that wasn't too bad of a run. Hard racing, but it was clean from where I was. Running, guys. Probably pit for four tires. Pit road is now open. Hopefully not run into people stopping on the back stretch. Okay. Imagine everybody's gonna be pitting. I guess so. Yeah. And we're right back to P9, right where we were. We'll see if we uh, come out in the same spot. Or better. No idea where my pit box is. Pit box team, 10. Five. Three. It's two, right up there. One. Right here. Oh, I thought we were going to be too far forward. 92, 92 on the right. So that's not bad. Kept them even. It's better than that guy's by a little bit. That's it. Go. Ooh, that was very fast. Be mindful, right. you only have one set of cars remaining. Light up single file. Came out ahead of the 14 and the 13, so that's good. We have one set of tires left for a 35 lap run. But if we get another 20 lap run, pit, and have a 15 lap run to the end, should be fine. I think we had to take tires there. The only 92 on the, I mean, that's pretty significant, 8%. If we had stayed out there, we would have been way slow. And everyone else pit as well, so we're not giving up anything by taking that set, obviously. Hopefully we have another good start like we had last time. It was all pretty clean up here. I think we came out in the exact same spot that we were in. Now, 14, his strategy, I think, is just go hard, not worry about the tires. He was passing on the outside, and we just got him at the end of that run, but if we keep having cautions right when it's going to start punishing you for old or for abusing the tires, then it's not going to hurt him. So maybe that's just going to work out for him. Maybe I should just try and go a little bit faster. But it's tough for me to do that. I don't know, we'll see what we can get here. We're not going to have a ton of places to go with this pack. Gotta take it nice and easy. I don't need to be overly aggressive and wreck myself and other people. Like I sometimes do if I try and push a little too hard. Robert's still hanging out in 12th, right behind the 13. All right, man, we're going green next time. We're back on the inside. Right, up on the inside row. We'll see what we can do here. Got the one car leading it, two car right on his outside. Just missing that three car, wherever he is. <laughs> Back here in ninth.
All right. Get ready. We'll see what we can do here. I'm gonna try and not lose as many spots this time, but. All right, man. Eight cars in. I don't know how much of a choice we're gonna have. Green, green, green. We get a decent jump. So does everyone else around us. Big tight there. Get a decent exit though. Nowhere for us to go here. So tight, too wide through turn two. Come on, dude. He's going to clear us here. We'll duck in behind him, see if we can hold 14 off. All clear, all clear. The car is the one, jump this across the left. 23, Okay. Just slamming that splitter onto the ground. Corner entry. Oh, everyone pounding the wall there. Glad I didn't follow him. Got a little space behind us. The 13 has gotten around the 14. The 9 car got the wall again. He's going to be up on the outside. It's going to be tough for the 7 to get a pass made. We're going to get a huge run. Okay. We made a pass. That's exciting. Just got to halfway, apparently. A little bit over halfway. Making that call there, spotter. We're in eighth. wide behind us that's going to help us pull away a bit hopefully not able to get a good run on the nine out of the corner we need to go a bit higher and set up a run it's gonna be hard to time it though especially if i'm spinning out of the corner Thought we might have got a run there, but nine got a good exit. Thirteen's gonna get us here probably. Well, not quite. Run here. Clear high, clear high. Yeah, I did not enter that corner very aggressively, unfortunately. See if we can keep it to his inside. All clear, all clear. Got one outside. All clear, all clear. Outside. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. All clear, all clear. Inside. Stay high. 
Had to go though, because I knew if I did in the 13, it was just going to get around us. We'll get in behind him. Good racing. It's been good racing. It's good clean racing. Just got to hope our tires are going to be okay at the end compared to these guys if we don't get another yellow. I still don't have the short run speed. Just a ninth place car on even tires. At least that's how it appears right now. I shouldn't have let the 13 get by me. Seems to be struggling now. I'm getting pretty tight as well. Seven right behind us again. Outside. Low. 13 might have his tires falling off. Let's see if we can make this pass. Pull away from the seven. Okay, that worked out. Seven got stuck behind him. And 13 couldn't cross us over because he had the seven on his inside. So that worked out pretty well. Let's see if we can track down the nine. I'm getting very tight though. Nine got the wall hard there. Done that a couple times. Need to make sure I don't do it if I can help it. Yeah, it's very tight now. Very tight. Are we going to set up a pass? Really got to run there. Just show the nose. Gonna have to set up something, some better run. Not quite. Okay, you got the wall again. That's going to help us. Got one outside. Still there. All clear, all clear. We clear him. Should be able to hold him off if he crosses us over. He had fallen off. Puts us seventh. Him hitting the wall there really helped us. It's going to be hard to get a pass made. Look how tight it is right now. Ten to go. Keep it nice and smooth. We're doing good. Probably not going to have time to catch these guys and make passes ahead of us. But you never know, they could get into the wall. I don't even know if we're catching them, really.
I don't think we saved quite as good as we did the first run, but compared to the people that were running the top and going really hard from the start of this run, we were doing a little bit better on tires, I think. I did go a little bit harder, but they're still okay because we've been on the bottom most of the time. Yeah, I don't think we're catching these guys at all. We're just way too tight. Just got to keep it underneath us. Keep it out of the wall. And we'll be good with the top ten. I hope we can keep this green to the end. Man, it will not turn right now. It's only going to end up being like a 20, 25 lap run. But I don't think it would surprise me if we got the your right front is wearing out call with the way this is feeling. Five to go. Two and a half seconds ahead. Let's see if we're actually gaining it all. No. We're holding about even with the 10 up there. I don't feel like I could have pushed any harder and got any more spots. I feel like I was going just about as quick as I could as I nearly put the wall or pound the wall down. So this is just where we are on speed, which is fine. I'm going to be really happy if this is only a one caution race. That's uh, really nice. This place can be messy. For sure. Got some too wide up ahead. It might be a lap car on the outside. It is. That's the 12. Two laps to go. Get it to the white flag. No green, white checkers, please. Seven has really pulled away from Robert, and Robert has moved up quite a bit around people who have hurt their tires. So he's having a great run. White flag is out. No more yellows. That's great. This is a fun race. A lot better than I thought it would go. Catch the 12 here, but not going to matter. He's going to stay high for us, but no time for anybody to catch us or anything, but he does a good job there. Thank you. And a good race. That was fun. Buddy. Good race to everybody. That was a good, that was a good clean race. Good run. There you go, man. Good job, driver. Everybody, we were around. I mean, they were racing hard, not wanting to just lay over for us, but that's certainly within their right and part of racing. So they were just racing hard, racing clean, and that was a fun one. Good job to Robert getting ninth as the number 15. He did really well, and we get zero X. So really. Only going to be one caution to look at, and then probably a bunch of wall hits. We saw a bunch of those from the in-car. Overall, I'm happy with that one. Only one caution at B-fixed Dover race. That is not bad. 11 car. He's going to grab the wall out of turn four. Robert might get it a little bit, yeah. That's going to be a very common thing. Ooh, 21 getting loose out of two. And the 12 does not see him in time. He just starts just getting loose mid-corner, starts losing it, and then he nearly saves it. He does save it, but then he's just parked there on exit, and I don't think the 12 had any idea he was there. We can get it. Like, he had a bunch of cars ahead of him here. Well, 
You probably saw him. You probably saw him, but uh, the momentum of the car probably taking him up there, and he probably couldn't do anything about turning down. It's a little contact. I don't think that was the yellow, though. Then the 19. Oh, he may be... That's who we saw on in the infield. I thought somebody spun, but I think he alt f 4 He might have had some equipment failure, like VR issue or something. It looked like he just turned left and kept it turning left. So at least there was no caution for that. 13. It's going to be grabbing the wall quite a bit. 12. This is after he got the front end damage. I'm sure his car is not handling too good. He gets the wall. Ooh, some blinking there. I think we saw that happen when the six nearly got to his inside. Nine's gonna get the wall. He'd done that a few times. Eight car and the 16. 16 comes down a bit. There's some net code that spins the 18 up into the outside wall. Or the eight car, rather. And uh, that is our caution. And people catching up. Back to green. Little contact there. I think this is all that's going to be left. A lot of people grabbing the wall and exit. The car is just so tight, and the momentum of the track just sends you right to that exit. Right to the wall on exit. It's a very hard track. Like really, the ideal line is to diamond it so you're turning down out of the corner, but that just hurts your tire so bad, eventually it gets to where you can't do that. So your best option for how it works on iRacing right now is just roll the bottom and be slow so you can keep keep the right front on it for as long as possible. Speaking of which, what were our tires? 69.83. Heesh. That's a lot of wear. 16 into the wall. This is after we got around the 9. He's going to get the wall again. 14 and the 13. 14 goes in real deep. That's going to get the 13 by him. He's going to try and cross over, but he clips that apron. 7 car gets the wall on entry as we almost do the exact same thing. 20 car pushing up into the 16. Just contact, though, doesn't actually turn them to the outside wall. And that's it. For Dover, for a fixed series, top three NASCAR series, that was remarkably clean. That was a really good race. A lot of hard, clean racing, and uh, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with that one. That was fun. We end up with uh, 0x, P7, which I will take. It's like my... Always my finish, finishing position. And only a handful of guys with incidents. Only six cars, and uh, two of them just with wall hits. And maybe, maybe these guys had wall hits as well that just add up to four. But really clean race for the track, and car, and uh, that was fun. I'm glad I did that one.